cryptography, operation security, your choice, your decision, what you think. Hello, my name is Mark Janal Jr. If you're new here, I do cyber-related videos. CISSP versus OSCP. IT certification battle. Who gonna win? Let's get right into it. So this is courtesy of Abresh uh, Sugan Sugandai at knowledgehut.com. So both OSCP and the CISSP certifications are related to the advanced cybersecurity field, right? So, and both of these certifications focus on strengthening advanced cybersecurity practices. But let us now draw uh, a detailed comparison between the two certifications and discuss various aspects of studying OSCP versus CISSP. So, the exam details between the two. So first we're gonna start with CISSP. The CISSP examination has questions based on the 10 domains it consists of. The exam is taken in a multiple choice question format. There are a total of 250 multiple choice questions which are to be finished in a time duration of six hours by any candidate. Out of the 250 multiple choice questions, 25 are the pre-test questions. The important topics of the CISSP examination include telecommunications and network security, access control, information security, governance and risk management, software development security, cryptography, operation security, business continuity and disaster recovery planning legal, investigations and compliance, and physical security. A candidate needs to have a, uh, a score of 700 out of the 1,000 to pass the examination and the CISSP examination cost is 600 bucks. Now let's go to OSCP. The OSCP certification examination is nothing like the normal examinations that we have attempted or heard of. This examination pattern maintains the stature of the certification in the uh, uh, industry. The OSCP examination is supposed to be completed within 24 hours and the documentation it requires needs to be submitted in the next 24 hours of the examination. All OSCP exams are digitally proctored. During the examination, each candidate is given three independent targets and one active directory, active directory set that consists of two clients and one domain controller. Detailed instructions for each task in the examination are provided in the exam control panel, but they are available only when the OSCP examination starts. The documentation requirements of the OSCP examination are intense. The documentation requirements of the OSCP examination are very strict, and the failure to provide sufficient documents uh, results in zero points or failure. The important topics of the examination are passive information, gathering, active information gathering, vulnerability scanning, buffer overflows, bypass antivirus software, password attacks, file transfers, client side attacks, the Metasploit framework and penetration test breakdown, and the OSCP certification cost is 800. Now let's look at uh, the salary prospects verse, uh, of OSCP versus CISSP. So the CISSP certification is one of the most valued certifications in the arena of cybersecurity. Various companies are actively looking for professionals who possess that certification, which has created a demand for people with the CISSP certification worldwide. This demand has resulted in an upsurge in the salaries of the professionals possessing the CISSP certification. A cybersecurity professional that has a CISSP certification earns about $156,000 annually. Now let's, let's look at OSCP. OSCP is one of the most valued and intense certifications in the field of cybersecurity. It is among a few top tier exams which focus on practical knowledge extensively. Due to its extensive focus on practical knowledge, rec recruiters are actively looking for people with the OSCP certification which has resulted in a hike in the demand for OSCP certification holders, which has shown a visible impact on the salaries of the OSCP certification holders. On average, an OSCP certification holder earns $96,000 annually. So now let's dip into uh, job opportunities of the two, let's compare. So for the CISSP certification contributes highly towards grabbing a job opportunity and is an integral part of managing advanced security systems. 
Due to the increasing demand for protecting, managing, and designing security systems for various industries, there has been a demand for cybersecurity professionals who possess these CISSP certifications. Now, let's look at OSCP. The OSCP certification is one of the most valued certifications in the field of cybersecurity due to its extensive focus on practical knowledge, right? It has gained popularity amongst the recruiters. The additional focus is that it is uh, is that uh, provided on the practical skills during the OSCP is a testimony of the ability of a cybersecurity professional who possesses an OSCP certification to work on real time problems. So let's get into the nuts and bolts here. Which is better, OSCP or CISSP? So we have talked in detail about, uh, about both these certifications individually, and I've also discussed the point of difference between them. So after this, we observed that both the certifications are issued by the same organization and in the same field, i.e. cybersecurity. Both the fields have their strengths. If we talk about the CISSP certification, it should be pursued by security managers executives analysts and engineers it is perfect if someone is looking forward to trying their hands on the security assessment and testing jobs if someone has an interest in identifying and analyzing an organization's security needs and recommending the best solutions then pursuing the cissp certification is the best for them whereas anyone who is in the field of defense security should go for the oscp certification it is perfect for someone who has prior experience in cybersecurity and is looking forward to expanding their knowledge. It is great for someone interested in ethical hacking and penetration uh, getting. It works for the best uh, for people who like focusing on practical knowledge more than theoretical knowledge. Your choice, your decision, what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Please feel free to watch, like, and comment other videos on this channel. Subscribe now.